Artisanal miners in Zamfara want a reversal of the ban on mining activities as it's seriously affecting the revenue. While arguing that mining is in no way connected to banditry, they say they have lost 47 members to banditry and 17 are still in captivity. They also have added that over 57 million naira has been paid for ransom to kidnappers in the last 12 months. Fearfulness Darifai reports. The discovery of natural resources should be a blessing to any state or country, but this is not the case in Zamfara State. The discovery of mineral resources here, many say, is the genesis of insecurity in the state. These necessitated the federal government placing a ban on mining activities in Zamfara as part of efforts to stem the tide of insecurity. Zamfara has battled with insecurity for almost a decade, and this has negatively affected farming and socio-economic activities. Miners insist their means of livelihood has no connection with banditry, as they are also not spared by the bandits. They say many of their members have been killed by bandits, while some are still in captivity with millions of naira paid for ransom. We miners, we are not the bandits. The bandits are looking for us as our soldiers are looking for them. They enter one of our sites, they kill more than uh, 47 people out of our laborers. I know there are almost 10 or 17 of our people in their hand with their question of 50 something million. They want the federal government to rescind its decision and lift the ban as joblessness may force some youths into crime. We don't have nothing we are doing now. We are just staying at home. Small boys are crying. Our women, they always, we are fighting with them because nothing we have in hand now. But the Zamfara State government say those mining are licensed by the federal government. Authorities in the state deny the news making the round that government has been engaging in mining activities despite the ban. There is no how Zamfara State government officials who are battling armed banditry and who are in support of the federal government decision to ban activities of miners in the state be engaged in such mining activities. The incessant attacks on communities, destruction of properties and kidnappings necessitated the federal government to recently declare them for a no-fly zone and ban all mining activities to curtail the miners. This is the second time in two years the federal government is placing ban on all mining activities in the state, which many identified as the root causes of insecurity in Zamfara State. Safely Zarufai, TVC News, Guso.